Good morning. Uh, another blog or blog or whatever you want to call it, YouTube channel content. P it's my PTSD and EMS. Um, I, I spent 30 plus years in EMS and I worked all over the place from West Virginia to uh, notorious Atlanta, Georgia. Then I went to Atlanta, then I went to Houston, then I went to south of Houston, in Willow Town, uh, Warden, Texas. And uh, the very first person I ever worked with in Warden, her name is Chella. And she ended up being not only a, a great partner, but a great friend. And um, this is what she looks like. It's my first day in a city of Wharton, which we was a county ambulance too. And as I remember, we was uh, we was pretty busy. We was the only ambulance in town. There was three ambulances, and we was the third. And Everybody's busy, and so we get a big car wreck. I just can't remember a lot about it. And I remember we had this um, pregnant teenager, and she was pretty far along. She was about seven months. And as she got T bone hit from the left, uh, left, I don't have it. She got hit. And she's pretty bad off. She's seven months pregnant. And I remember getting the, the call and me asking Chilla, because I was new to the area, uh, about a helicopter. Get a helicopter. And she says, get on the radio and ask dispatch. Tell them to get you a helicopter out. So I did, and I got in trouble for that. I was... Because Live Flight is a helicopter for Herman Memorial that was started by Dr. Red Duke, who's famous in Houston. And then there was another helicopter service. Well, I was from Georgia, and Live Flight's a generic term. But it's not in Houston, so anyhow. I get out, we get out there, and I remember it's just so emotional and intense and you gotta keep calm and you got a, a pregnant teenager that's very very critically injured and um you want to save the mother and the baby but the mother always comes first because if you can save the mother's life nine times out of ten you can save the baby's life and uh so Long story short, we got her on the helicopter and, and uh, got her sent to the hospital. She then and the and the baby died. But I couldn't remember the story, and so I, I texted Chella and I said, "Can you?" Text me or email me what you remember. And so, me and Chella, we do texting, and it's and it's periodically, periodically. But we will always, and all my partners, we will always remember each other. And this is what Chella had to say. Well. I'm just going to play a portion of it. This is what she has to say. Hi, OB. It's Chella. Um, I just wanted to send you a little voice message um, in reference to the call that you're talking about. I'm sitting here in traffic on 90 
trying to get to 59 to go home because, well, of course, Houston traffic is shit. So here I am sitting in traffic. Um, so, yes, that was one of my favorite calls with you. Um, mainly because we had so much fun and because, you know, we had a great outcome. The patient survived. And although it looked um, like she wasn't, I know I remember thinking to myself, wow, if we don't do something like right now, right now, she might die and the baby might die. And you said to me, and I'll, I'll never forget, you said, well, not as long as we're here, she ain't going to die. And I took it and I ran with it. And I love that part about our story that anytime I was with you, I felt extra confident in what we were doing and that it was the right thing always, um, especially for the patient. And being with you, you know, I learned so much and I'm always forever and ever grateful for that. So let's go back to that night, right? So I remember... Those are great words. I always treated all my patients like they were my brother, my sister, my wife, my father, my mother, my grandmother, and my family. I've always loved people. I've always loved helping people. And uh, I still help people in a limited capacity. But most of the time I'm stuck here at the house. Living out my memories and having fun with my wife and my little dogs. God bless.